this day in history, Challenger exploded. At 11.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 28, 1986, Two, one, the Space Shuttle Challenger lifts off lift from Cape Canaveral, lift Florida, off. and Cressa McAuliffe is on her way to becoming the first ordinary U.S. civilian to travel into space. McAuliffe, a 37-year-old high school social studies teacher from New Hampshire, won a competition that earned her a place among the seven-member crew of the Challenger. The shuttle lifted off. 73 seconds later, hunters on the ground, including Krista's family, stared in disbelief as the shuttle exploded in a forking plume of smoke and fire. Millions more watched the wrenching tragedy unfold on live television. There were no survivors. The Challenger disaster was the first major shuttle accident. In the aftermath of the explosion, President Ronald Reagan appointed a special commission to determine what went wrong with Challenger and to develop future corrective measures. The investigation determined that the explosion was caused by the failure of an O-ring seal in one of the two solid fuel rockets. The elastic O-ring did not respond as expected because of the cold temperature at launch time, which began a chain of events that resulted in the massive explosion. We mourn seven heroes, Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista Mikolov. We mourn their loss as a nation together.